Jesus. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Okay. Monokuma Aww. met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide. Oh, he's like a bookie. <gasps> the Monami scarecrow hanged herself and died. It's like, um, oh, since, um, Ipuki had the gullible disease, she was that gullible, and I guess maybe the killer told her to, um, told her to commit suicide. Hello. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. Okay. He also met a Monami tin man who was missing a heart. So Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Wait, so then, um, ah, oh, damn, um, so the, the Monami, um, the tin guy, the tin guy, Tim Monami. Um, that's the same way how Hyoko died. Eventually, one thing led to another, okay. and he started beating the crap out of Monami. <laughs> Aww. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. Hello. Aww, I feel bad for the old people. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. Oh. <laughs> the and end. he lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, that was good, though. <laughs> that was actually quite funny. Man, moving to the mask. That drama was so um that drama was so moving that I need two um, boxes of tissues, one for each hand um head. head. Just like Monica was sitting right next to Hadwe, and Hadwe is like so bored out of his mind. Now then, let's see. Uh, let's meet. Uh, let's meet again after the at the class trial. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm, I'm too disgusted to even allow it sign right now. That's all I can say to describe that, this situation. <laughs> Aww. Here you go. Hey, now I can tell. How was it, actually? I don't even have to ask. I totally expect your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I have seen. Um, I have seen. Um, is it even okay to call that a movie? Uh, but thanks to that movie, now you, you know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were uh, killed in the movie um, match the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging up matches the Scarecrow's death uh, in the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko's splendid body matches the Iron's, um, the Iron's death too. It would have been a complete um, imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or if the killer's bingo was just an imitation murder, um, they uh, should be upset about it too, but I'm not sure if that's even true. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D. Yeah, let's leave the area. Um, let's go to um, the motel. And then we'll go to the hospital and hopefully the class trial the class trial might start. Hello. I just reminded I never went to inside of the room um, any of the rooms in the motel. Plus I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. Yeah, Gundo. How about you? Since you stayed here. You're here, right? Come on out. Uh, are you talking to me? I can't see. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko stayed in? Open the door. Um, open the door to the center room. Oh, okay. However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. Kick, kick, yeah. I wonder how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine. 
Uh, for you, girl. How about you? Hey, Hajime, can you explain to me again? It to me again. Uh, what happened when you uh, first discovered Boogie's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Uh, Boogie's body was hanging from the bottom lighting. However, there was no big, uh, no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to uh, get you guys. I met up with Chuck at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music room, and you, you met up with me, Khan, and me. And when we went back to the music venue, um, the entrance door wasn't um, open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discover Hyoka's body was um, suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most imp important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Jackie? Um, I, if I, as I recall, Gundam or, or Monami? And did you hear me? A body was found. A b b b b a kill! Uh, could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nakato in order to confuse all of us? Besides Shaka, I saw Gundam and Monami. I see, so Kazuhiko and Sonia didn't appear, huh? Do you think those are suspicious? Uh, well, Hyoga was killed. It's, um, between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we uh, broke down the door, right? So obviously, the, uh, those are the most suspicious ones um, since they, are, um, they weren't with us. And that, that, that might be it, but... Well... Where are we at? A eh? let uh, let me tell you uh, my alibi too. You slept. <laughs> That's basically when the morning um when the morning Monokuma and Asma woke me up. I went straight to the hostel. I saw Mika panicking in front of the hospital. Asked her uh, 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 what's going on. She said Buki disappeared. So you guys uh, split up and looked up uh, looked for Ubuki, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, while we were circling the island, we came to the Emerald Town. Saw you guys there. Do you see anyone else while you circled the island? No, we went to the movie theater and that was a um, street full of machines to look for a bookie, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying I don't have an alibi? Be um, because I didn't run into anyone, it's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Miga and I were uh, on our own, um, our own looking for a bookie wasn't a very long. In that short time, there's no way I can kill um, Hyoko and wrap her around the pillow with duct tape. It's true, I feel like uh, there wasn't enough time to do that um, after the, uh, left the music venue, but the fact is, Hyoko was killed and we, we did uh, discover her body. What do you still doubt me? Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've, um, I've done um, things that I deserve to be down for. So, don't worry. Don't worry if it, if you doubt me. I don't plan on um, dismembering you and and encasing and, and you in con concrete. I don't want I don't want to know in in advance why I <laughs> have to do it in the end up to like like that. Ooh. Okay, free hook. Uh, okay, Wait, the room. Thank you. Looks like it's locked, but keep. Uh, the key was inside her kimono. Uh, maybe if I use this, it opened just as I thought. The uh, this key was Hyoko's um, room key. All right, all right, I should go inside. Not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad as a room. So Hyoko was um, staying here. Uh, she um, only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really um, feel like her room. But I feel um, I feel a little, a little conflicted. Oh, hey, Sonia. Oh my. Uh, did the um did the door open? Uh, yeah. Um, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. What did something happen? No, it's it's just uh, I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault. What does that mean? Let's see. Uh... A, A, A. A! Some blood little monokuma. A. A, 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 A. I found some blood little monokuma. I don't know why I'm bragging about. But anything else? Any more monokumas? No? Sonia. The morning, um, the morning Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of um, guys, to, um, you guys too, right? However, 
Her fear of, of disease was not the only reason she um, locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides uh, that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Her kimono. Oh, don't tell me she cannot do that thing. Her kimono? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 yesterday I went to, um, to talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her um, uh, room locked, but uh, by Col um, Colin Winston said it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Aww. Um. Uh, Hugo uh, was crying and struggled with her kimono sash. And she did not want to um, smell bad, so she she took a um, shower, but and then she um, uh, could not tie her sash any, anymore. My hero is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. How about you, Hubble Sonia? How about you? Oh no, then again, do Kyoko wants like she's following the six meter rule right now. She did leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? Right. Um, the the others have. Um, I thought it was just a silly sash, but it my must be a serious uh, issue for her. Um, Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Himahiro, that Mahiro kindly taught her um, the basics. That's um, why she uh, wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. She probably could not um, forgive um, herself for not um, being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. Wait. So with their messed up kyo um, kimono, like, the sash with, like, the knot was in front. Is it because of um, um, Hyoko? I I I cannot easily um, not I cannot really understand her feelings, which is why I was uh, what I did. What did you say? Uh, hello. Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it. Why does she remind me of Nasuki from Doki Doki? Oh, that was, oh, that's real of her. And that's when uh, she uh, kicked me out. It cannot be. So, ooh, could it be Hyoko remembered that? I think, she, yeah, I guess she went out of her room because since uh, she refused to, like, let herself out or let anyone else in, maybe Hyoko took her Sonia advice to go out. Maybe. Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Um, I can't see that happening. He, um, Hyoko locked herself and made uh, um, sure she put the, uh, the room key inside her kimono. I can't, uh, I can't imagine that she was um, abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Why did, did you tell anyone about that uh, before the incident or was someone listening in our conversation? In, or on your conversation? Ugh. I never told, um, I never told this to anyone and I do not believe anyone was listening in to our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer ha um, know Kyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Oh, there's still time. Huh? Okay. Um. What's this? A sick. Oh, the body is messed up. It doesn't look like it was abducted. Why was she asleep? A the sink, maybe? The sink? And there's a mirror, but it's, it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone could use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess on her room, and I don't think she was uh, forcibly abducted. I feel like I could really find out and find any important clues. Oh well. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, um, now we need to see Jackie in the hotel. So, just for Jackie, I'm gonna run up to her. Like this. 
I'm losing the calories. Okay, that was not. It didn't took too long. Actually, didn't took too long to be honest. Let's see my pet. How's my pet to be doing? Okay, I need to remember the name. Piggy me, piggy me, piggy me. Oh, yeah, it does affect the steps you took, in, right? Yeah, it does. Sorry, I'm just looking. Uh, back here again. Um, okay. Let's say hi to. Let's look at the surveillance cameras. This is a very camera on top of the reception. I saw it to be a very surveillance camera. I tell um, you know, it's so it's supposed to broadcast it. Hey, actually, there's something I want to ask you. Uh, you're, you, you first got me boogies boy at the music venue, right? Um, but why did you go to the music venue? You had a um, reason for that, right? Do you see any anything, uh, something with on the with this camera? Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if there's a running camera and you know, could uh, record, but it's only good for household functions. Tell me, actually. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a, a strange uh, video that. Um, in that surveillance camera until it showed the music venue and stage there was a black curtain hanging like like there is uh, there's now but the but the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candle light there was a rope hanging from the ceiling and beneath that there was a step ladder on the floor and right away a person wearing a hospital gown and a handbag on their head appeared. I didn't know uh, who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Yubuki. She walked straight to the step ladder uh, without any hesitation. She climbed up the st uh, step, uh, step ladder on her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope and that's all I saw. The candlelight be um, being used, used to be in the snuffed out of so or something because the screen went black all of a sudden and it wasn't display um, displaying anything anymore. Well, it's the candlelight uh, g goes out and obviously nothing will show up. M modern, uh, modern civilians can have an interim fun function so things can still show up even if in the dark. But, but the one I got from the um, machine um, Machine Alley was um Alice was so a really old modern. Ah, oh, oh, hold on. At that time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the handbag was a boogie, right? Yeah. You didn't know if um it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue uh, to try to stop her, uh, but I didn't make it in time. So if she climbed the step ladder on her own. Does that mean she commits suicide? Why not that mean she's her own killer? A boogie commits suicide. Uh, what do you mean? What do you think, Jackie? There's no doubt about boogie climbed step ladder on her own. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's no doubt. If so, hmm, hmm. Hey, don't um, don't think uh, for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's um, there's no way we'd be able to figure out that out so easily. Eh. Oh god, <laughs> she's really thinking. Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Um, head over that. What the heck? She was, uh, she uh, ran away all of a sudden. Uh, she said the comfort, um, uh, conference room, um, conference room. But why, um, why was she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I, I might have to be, um, me overthinking. But did she see me a little upset? Okay, it's a friend's monitor video. Gotcha. Boom. Um, Kazuichi, anything else to say? Hey, you you prepared the um, the the Zerbrin's camera until you know, right? Yeah. So I didn't make any weird um, modifications or anything. It's not like I'm special or anything. Did you get this uh, from the shady looking alleyway? Um, alleyway. All those machines were lined up. Yeah, I just uh, tweaked it a little. Then. <laughs> Then, if there were our other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to tra um, transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? No, no, that's impossible. Originally, um, surveillance camera and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. 
the z uh, the video uh, that was filmed um, with the hospital camera can only be viewed to the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed in the music venue camera can only be on the music venue monitor. But if I left it like that, uh, we wouldn't have been able to com uh, com communicate so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and, and vice versa. However, each um, surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same old camera or monitor, you won't be able to inter interfere with the signal. Meaning, meaning even if uh, another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I, di I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless uh, range. If I ha uh, had done that, we would have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hello, Iconic. Um, uh, that's kind of actually dark, to be honest. Hey, Iconic, what's up? Phew, I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Hi, Jimmy, tell me what about my um, recovery. You can, um, wait, you can't touch my <laughs> my chest if you, if you win. No, thanks. She was uh, bearably um, when she was uh, quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She's beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey. Well, it's, it's, an, um, it's never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear a hospital gown from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like there are going to be stock. It looks like uh, there was one gown for each patient room, so I thought there'd uh, be more in the empty room. So um, there weren't any gowns? Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only way I um, left in the in one Nagato was wearing. Wait, Ibuki died wearing one, so the only uh, one left is the one Nagato was wearing. Fair enough, he was in his bed, and we cannot even tell if he was wearing uh, an, an, like, um, a hospital gown. But all we know, he could be literally not even wearing clothes, or still wearing his clothes, but dying slowly. <laughs> if I had no choice, then I should just use Nakato to say, you know, sex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in one. Okay. Hold on, what about to, um, to go on you were, uh, the gown you were wearing? I already say I should wear the one I already wore. That's gross. Wearing um, wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly dolly. I totally like uh, left me going back to the music venue. Crap, I gotta get, um, go back soon. Well, it's, pro it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. So it's one for each patient. Mm. So Akani was def probably definitely remember wearing hers. Ibuki wore her own. The only thing. We so. Oh my god. Then. So it's only one for each patient. So Aka um, Ibuki was wearing hers. I can't even remember, like, possibly remember where it hurts, but Nagito was the only one we... He was in his bed, so we we cannot tell, but... What if... This is the hypothesis. What if... Hmm. For a second, I had a theory in my mind. What happened if Mikans wore Nagitos? Like, then... Well, then she be affected by the bad disease because apparently not like Nocta was seriously ill. So what happened then? Uh, uh, no, uh, okay. Um. Um. That's the conference room. And what's in this? Staff room. Staff room. I will just go see in the staff room. Oh, it's, oh, this is the own call room. Oh, uh, this is his room for patient, um, for patients. It looks more like an own call room for hospitals, uh, health staff. But all this, um, clearing, um, 
uh, meds and the equipment makes look a storage room. If this was the only call room working in a ho at the hospital, um, must be tough work. So if a room like this exists, that means where uh, means uh, there used to be a peep um, a person here, right? Seriously, what the heck is going on with the silent? I don't think there's a Monokuma doll here. Is it? Is it? No, I don't think so. Let's go to the conference room, which I've actually never been there before. Never been to conference room. Never been there, to be honest. 